Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So I've got a new device from Mekotronics. So this one, and here is the box. So it is the R57, four gigabytes uh, memory, 32 gigabytes eMMC. So this has got a new sock from Rockchip. So uh, it's the RK3576, I think. I have a bad memory, I need to check it. RK, yes. So it is the RK3576 with all their namings. So uh, it is a less powerful sock than the RK3588. So this one is the R58 HD. This has got six HDMI outputs and one HDMI inputs. So uh, this is for uh, for digital signage. So with Android you can uh, power all six of these ports. I don't know yet how it is with Linux. We will have to see that later. So for this there is already Armbian for this. They are working on it. So. Uh, in this video I'm gonna open this and uh, I've done some benchmarks with Android so I'm gonna compare uh, this with this so the RK3576 with the RK3588 so this is in between of an RK3399 and RK3588 so it has got four cores four times uh, A72 at I think 2.3 gigahertz so quite high and four times a53 I'm not sure about that it's about 2 gigahertz so that's pretty high it is higher than the a55 on the, the RK3399 but I can't remember it well and we will see it later on when I show the benchmarks so Monka already made an arm bin image for this device so before I install Armbian I first wanted to show you how Android performs so I've done Geekbench, Geekbench benchmark Geekbench 6 and also a WebGL benchmark okay now I can take this off and take this out okay so here it is so it has got a mini PCIe and it also has got an NVMe I really didn't know that so that is pretty good so on the front we have got one USB 3 port, two USB 2 ports and also uh, USB Type-C. Maybe this can do an extra display, I'm not sure about that. I'm also not sure what this button means, high, low, HL, I'll keep it on H, I'm really not sure for what that is. So it is a nice board, they do make nice boards. It has a CSI and DSI, so for a digital display and here for a camera. Okay. So that's opening it. So you see what heatsink it is using it is a smaller heatsink than this so let's show you this so this also has got NVMe and also a mini PCIe for uh, for Wi-Fi or you could put other things on it so the big thing on this is of course six times HDMI, one HDMI in. This one also has got one HDMI out and one HDMI in. And it also has got these and these. Uh, so those are uh, 
serial connectors. This one has got one over here. So these are the devices. Let's go to the Android benchmarks. Here we go. So here we are booting into Android on the R57. So here we are in Android and let's open Geekbench. And this tells us the clock speeds, except. So here we see the first cluster. This is the A53 cores or clocked at 2.2 gigahertz. And then the four cores A72 are clocked at 2.3 gigahertz. So they are clocked very high for uh, these low end cores. Certainly the A53, I've never seen an A53 clocks at 2.2 gigahertz. So let's run the CPU benchmark and let's go to the finish. So here on the left is the R57 and that was single core 375. This isn't that good. So the RK3588 does 834 in single core. I'm not sure what is wrong. It shouldn't perform that bad single core. Maybe the wrong cores are used for single core. That the A53 cores are used instead of the A72. And then the multi-core score is again a very strange result. So 1363 for the R57. And then the RK3588, 1304. So the RK3588 performs worse than this new lower end sock. That is pretty strange. I don't trust Geekbench, it just adds a lot of things together and makes a bogus score. So we don't know anything with this. But I just wanted to show you because some people do want to see Geekbench. I don't find it very useful. Now let's do the GPU benchmark. So here are the results for the GPU benchmark. So 1698 for the RK3576 and 3294 for the RK3588. So the RK3588 has a much more powerful GPU that is expected. But the RK3576 still does pretty good. So it will outperform all the older SOCs like RK3399 or the Odroid N2 Plus. It's S922X. So this looks like a promising SOC. The CPU is pretty powerful. The GPU is a little less powerful but still capable. The only issue will be software support. They make so much SOCs. It is hard to support them all. So for Armbian we already have images that run on the R57. So I will keep you up to date about the software for this board. So now I've done the Android tests. I can remove Android and install Armbian. Monka already made his images for it. So thank you Monka. Thank you everybody for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.